graph the function g of x equals the absolute value of negative 1 half x plus 3. Again, I know that I'm looking for a graph that's going to end up v-shaped. So I need to find points along here, points along here, and I also need to find the point of the v. So I'm going to find some values for x. And I'm also going to make sure that I find the point. And remember that point right down here is going to be when g of x equals 0. So I'm definitely going to solve for that. So picking some values for x, when x is negative 4, g of x turns out to be 5. When x is negative 2, y is or g of x is 2, excuse me, is 4. When x is 2, g of x is 2. And now let's solve out a couple just to show how this is being done. So for my next point, I'm going to go ahead and pick 4. So I'm going to let x equal 4. So it's the absolute value of that expression, which is... Four, negative 4 divided by 2 gives me negative 2 plus 3. So when x is 4, g of x is the absolute value of 1, so g of x equals 1. Okay. Another point I could pick, a bigger point just to make sure I have plenty of points on here, would be 8. So g of x equals negative 1 half times 8 plus 3. So g of x equals the absolute value of negative 4 plus 3. So g of x equals the absolute value of negative 1, which is also 1. The last thing I'm going to do is to let g of x equal 0. And calculating that out, that's going to give me 0 equals negative 1 half x plus 3, or negative 3 equals negative 1 half x. So I'm going to end up with multiplying by a, both sides by negative 2, x equals 6. So I know that when g of x is 0, x is 6. Now I have plenty of data to work with to find this graph. Starting out with this point right here, When x is 6, g of x is 0. So I know I'm going to have a line up here and a line up this way. When x is negative 4, g of x is 5. Negative 2, 4 is my next point. 2, 2, 4, 1, and then 8, 1. Because it's going to have a line going to the left, and then another line going to the right. And I could take a couple more points out here to find a little, you know, a little bit more of this, or I could just extend it out based on these two points. So again, when you're graphing a function such as this, find negative values for x, find positive values for x, and let g of x equal 0 to find the point of the v. Thanks for visiting educator.com, and I'll see you soon.